Well, a big daytime TV fan as well as a big fan of the doctors came to us because she wants a little help when it comes to a little red carpet glamour of her own. I love daytime TV. From soap operas. You had everything. That's what I don't get about this. To even the doctors. We were introducing the home video. You are going to love. I never, never miss an episode. Daytime is an escape. It's an escape from reality. These girls are so picture perfect, not a flaw. So it's nice to be able to sit down, relax, and watch something that is like a fantasy world because the last few years of my life have been anything but glamorous. I recently moved my family to Las Vegas for a job promotion with my company. And due to the economy, I lost my job, which was very, um, very emotional. It was devastating, shocking to the system. I've had a hysterectomy and had to transition through a lot of different hormonal changes. All of that added stress. I started noticing a huge change in my hair. I used to have it really long past my shoulders, really thick, and my hair is getting thinner and thinner every day. I have to like part it to the side and make sure that I'm covering the spots that you can't tell if I'm, you know, thinning or balding. It's just made me want to stay in the house. I want to be carefree. I want to be able to go out and have that confidence. I think now is a, a better time than any in my life for a makeover. It would be that self-confidence boost that I need getting out there and showing the world, hey, Lisette's in town. <laughs> Good news, we decided to give Lizette a red carpet makeover. She's backstage right now getting the finishing touches on it. And Maria is going to help us reveal Lizette's red carpet look a little bit later in the show. Whoa. She's going to learn from the pros. I lost my job, which was very, very emotional. I've had a hysterectomy and had to transition through a lot. I used to have my hair really long past my shoulders, really thick. Now my hair is getting thinner and thinner every day. I'm very self-conscious. I have to like part it to the side and make sure that I'm covering the spots. But now it's becoming to the point where I'll put a baseball cap on. I want to be carefree. I want to be able to go out and have that confidence. I just don't feel beautiful. Maria Menounos is back. It's time to reveal the results of our red carpet makeover on the set. A deserving daytime TV as well as big fan of the doctors. Now, she's been backstage getting the finishing touches on her new look throughout the show. But before we bring her out, let's take one more look at her before picture. And now, here's the new Lisette. Come on out, Lisette. show you side by side because it is amazing what a little TLC can do in terms of getting you red carpet ready and you look great. <laughs> Amazing. Her daughter Gigi is making me cry right now and her husband Hector is in the audience as well. You guys I'm I can see your reaction from the tears you're making me cry. What do you think? I'm really excited because my mom is a beautiful woman and when she's going through the hair theme from the hysterectomy and all the medications that she's been through, all the hair products and hair extensions and pieces, and it just, I wanted her to feel like she could go out again without having to worry about that anymore and feel beautiful and confident because your hair is, com is your confidence, you know? And Hector, what do you think? <laughs> she looks like a movie star. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? She looks awesome. I think Hector's out there. I, he, he's the yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's my hair. I want to run my fingers through I mean, it. Men always have to deal with, you know, the hair loss thing. It's, it's, but it's also a really common thing for women. And, you know, I always say hair is a woman's best accessory. And so when you don't have good hair, you don't feel good. For someone like Lissette, if you're a woman out there and you're losing your hair, whether it's after a hysterectomy or not, 
you need to be talking with your doctor. Make sure that your hormones are where they need to be, that there's not something acutely going on medically. Right. That's you know, because possible. what we've done here, this is a massive cosmetic change, but that's one of those things you just want to work with your doctor to make sure that there's not anything else that you should be doing. And so our friends at Hair Club, they actually do have a lot of non-surgical solutions for women who have thinning hair. On Lisette, they were able to get this thick flowing hair using their biomatrix strand by strand process. And the good news is they're going to take care of your hair for the entire next year. So it keeps looking just like this. healthy on the inside to be beautiful on the outside so our friends at Bistro MD are giving you six months worth of nutritious food delivery service oh my god yeah. <laughs> and, and I Marie I don't know what you I, I'm pretty sure you look red carpet ready she, oh, was red she looks so red carpet ready in fact that the doctors and I have arranged for you to rock your red carpet look in June, at the Daytime Emmy Awards. Oh, my God! <laughs> You're going to be a star for the day. Make it happen! I love it. So, Hector, are you going to escort this beautiful lady? Definitely. To the Daytime Emmys? And for everyone out there, the Daytime Emmy Awards will be live from Las Vegas on CBS on June 19th. So be sure to tune in so you can see Lisette for yourself. You look awesome. You look beautiful. Thank you so much.